all righty. Hi, hello. We're making compound butter for the turkey. Yes, we're gonna make, this is my mom, Rosemary. Hello. So what do we have? Rosemary and thyme. So we're gonna make the compound butter. This butter is something that you put underneath the turkey skin right before you, you put, put it in, in the oven. oven. So we're planning on, even though I'm gonna to demonstrate today with a little smaller turkey, because it's a little easier to handle, mm -hmm. what I'm giving you today is a recipe for like a 20 pound bird. Good. Because that's usually what we do. Yeah. So this is two sticks of butter. I have it softened. It was in my windowsill, so I let it get nice and soft. Okay. So it's ready to go. So mom, you're gonna, I'm gonna put in uh, a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. That kind of has everything in it, but we're uh -huh. gonna elevate that. So and then a little bit of this looks like little that's rosemary little pinchy stuff it's ooh it's rosemary it's, it's rosemary. rosemary okay you know so i had a... this it did not grow too well okay it didn't grow and then a couple of these that's, that's a little bit of that i think i got sage just you know you can you put know. whatever you can put whatever spices you want yeah. you can just do salt and pepper i mean I know. garlic or whatever you want yeah. so t um with thyme there's a little trick because there's all these little see these little branches mm -hmm. yeah so you go the opposite way on the branch yep like so you just it, all the little leaves come off when you do like a little whoop right. across the branch yeah, see you do that with like parsley you go like too. whoop and it comes off from the edge whoop and you just put some of those in and we're just going to put a little you want this one in too uh, sure just a little i'm going to reach over and grab this okay okay mix good. it up yeah so now that's good i mixy mix see Okay. So now this is this this wonderful mixture. So people who say, oh, I have to open the oven and baste the turkey. When you do a compound butter, you don't have to do any of that because we put this underneath the skin of the turkey before it goes in the oven and mm -hmm. it becomes a self-basting yes. turkey. You put it like all in the, the wrap wrapper like uh -huh. this, right? And, you and make then like you make like roll. a roll. So I'm gonna turn it this way since I blooped it that way. No, very good. So you kind of roll it up. See? Uh -huh. Can you see that? Yes. I hope that camera angle is good. So I yeah. made like a little sausage yes. out of it, a sausage roll, and I just mm -hmm. twist the ends. Now, this goes in the refrigerator. Now you can have this up to like four days before. So it's a right. good thing to do if you're prepping for everything, you're buying the green beans, you're getting everything set for the dinner. Buy, do this and, and have it ready. Done. <laughs> We're starting the brining. We're gonna do the brine. Okay. For the brine. For the brine, we have a lot of water in here. Yeah, well this is an eight quart pot. We need eight to 10 quarts of water, but I don't want to put too much water in here and fill it all the way up because we still have to put stuff in. Yeah. Two cups of kosher salt. Good. And, Very good. And a cup of honey. And a cup of honey. Now my mom's going to stir. Now you have to, this is the, this is the part and uh, that takes a while. As you can see, we have our cooler at the ready with a clean uh, plastic bag in it so this is going to be the little bed for our our turkles to live in and get all brined up and juicy and juicy so we're going to stir that until everything is dissolved. dissolved and once that's dissolved we're gonna um throw in a couple of cloves of garlic and a couple of bunches of thyme as you can tell we're thyme people okay and we're gonna, so we're throw, gonna throw that stuff the in. thyme Get yep. in there, get in there, yep. get in there. And here's the garlic, one of our favorite things. One of our favorite things. Okay, so cooler is ready. Mm -hmm. I've lined the cooler with the bag. I'm gonna put um, Tom, t what are we gonna name the turkey this year? I don't know. <laughs> Thumbelina, ah. we're gonna put Thumbelina. Well, that's a small turkey. This one is small-ish. Yeah. Whee! Okay, so he's gonna go in, but I put him in like kind of upside down. Uh -huh. Because you want all that brine to get into the, the cavity. So he's just yeah. sitting in there kind of doing a headstand right now. That's good. Okay? All right. Ready? Let's drown. I'll, I'll pour. Okay, you can pour. So we're going to pour this brine into, into the cooler. See? Ooh, it's so nice. He's and the bag, the bag makes it... Yeah, we got most of that. The salt and stuff. I'm just going to put yeah. a little bit. Okay, now what we do, the reason we use the plastic bag too, is we can close, close the, the bag, bag up, which forces all of that liquid around to stay the around the turkey. The whole idea of a brine is to keep your turkey 
completely immersed. Right. So it's got to stay in there. So that's why we do the bag. So I'm going to pull this bag up. I'm going to tie it up. Uh -huh. And then, wonderful that this is a cooler, I'm going to put ice on top and close it up and store it. Like you can keep it in the garage overnight. Yes. Or you can put it out on your patio if it's cold and ice, unless you have that bears rat. in your neighborhood. Bears or raccoons. Then bears or raccoons or hungry dogs. Just keep it in the garage. Yeah, the garage. And then you tie it up and tie it, tie it really safe, tight, cover it up, put ice. Wait 12 to 24 hours. 12 to 24 hours. I mean, you could you could brine a turkey even more than 24 hours. Yeah, if you can keep it cold, you can go a couple of days. Yeah. But I mean, we usually, I usually pick up my bird on Tuesday eve afternoon mm -hmm. before Thanksgiving. That night, I brine it and mm -hmm. I keep it in the brine until Thursday morning. Right. So, but but you know, the, the shortest time you can do is like 12 hours. Yeah, well, yeah. it depends if you have a little turkey. You could get away with maybe a shorter period of time, but if you have a big turkey with a lot of meat on it, you want the brine to go into yeah. the turkey. Well, Thumbelina is ready to rest. Now, when we come back, I'm not going to leave you hanging. We can't leave you hanging. We're going to tell you how to put this bird in the oven, uh -huh. use our compound butter, and get it ready to be a perfect, fabulous Thanksgiving dinner. So stay yes. with us. Absolutely. Till the bitter end. <laughs> Thumbelina to go in the oven. Okay. But we're gonna prepare the pan first. We did. We've got we a nice big pan it. with a rack. Mm -hmm. We sprayed this rack with right. some cooking spray so the turkey doesn't stick. Right? Right. Set that aside. Now, so okay. I have onion. And I'm gonna keep some of this because some of this goes inside the, the cavity. I don't do the stuffing in the in the turkey. Right. Well, most people don't. Even. Well, yeah. So, okay, so. Mommy, you do the onions and save me some to put in the cavity. Now, while you're doing that, what about the celery? You want? Yes, yeah, celery, onions, and carrot, okay. all three. Now, I've taken Thumbelina out of the brine. Did not rinse. Don't rinse. Just pat dry. And now we're going to take that. Remember that really cool compound butter we made? Here it is, all chilled. I'm going to unroll it and slice it into discs. If you leave it out, it gets a little soft. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. You just have your compound butter ready to go. Now, I'm gonna just slice it into little discs and we're gonna put it inside the bird. Now, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's under the skin. Right, if you buy celery and it has the leaves on it, use the, use leaves. the leaves. The leaves are good. The yeah. leaves actually, Mama always put, that's my grandmother, yes. my mother's mother, Mama, we put, you, you when you make soup, put the like when you, buy, when you buy celery, mm -hmm. use those stalks and then right. save that little inside piece, those leaves, because yeah, you see, use it for stock. We or have for, this little thing, this is a goodie. That's a goodie, I have it too, see? Yeah. Now, to do this, don't be afraid to kind of manhandle your turkey. No. You can you can go underneath the skin and just kind of, so you see how I'm kind of just breaking the little t tissue connections kind of gently, mm -hmm. but you don't have to be so, so careful. I mean, you no. can go through. It's not gonna. It's not gonna, it, it might rip a little, but that's okay too. This still, you'll still have a very pretty, skin, it'll be all nice and crusty mm -hmm. and pretty. Break just some of those connections. You could do that on the legs you too. You do it on the legs, You on do the it thighs. on the legs, on the thighs. Uh -huh. And you kind of just work around, right? Yes. And for the sake of what we're doing here, but you, as you, you can get the picture here. We just kind of use our fingers and gently go through. Be patient. Don't go like, mm -hmm. you know. Right, you'll okay. do this with plenty of time. I've got these discs. This is what we do. We just shove the butter into Thumbelina, equally distributed. You can smoosh it down a little, and you just put this all up here. What about the people that fry turkeys? Yeah, you know, I always wanted to do that, but I'm afraid. I just think it's a lot of waste because you have all that oil. Well, you have 30 that. gallons of oil. What are you going to do with I it? I don't know. So if this you put way, it in your garbage pail, it'll spill, and the garbage man will have it fit because yeah. it'll spill all over his cup. Okay, so I put all the butter underneath. Now this is seasoned butter, so it's gonna give it all this flavor and all that delicious browning. Now, okay. I'm gonna take a lemon, squeeze oh. the lemon 
rub it inside the cavity. Squeeze the lemon. Squeeze and rub it inside the cavity. I'm gonna put a little salt inside the cavity too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna show you. See, put it in. Now we take all this, mom, all this, you can put that in. Shove this in. Shove turkey. it in the turkey. Make sure it gets all the way up All the there. way in. All the way, all the way. Because these are gonna cook and soften. Yes, and they're good too. Yep. All right, now. Yeah, finish, finish, right? All done. Sticky stick. Bring the pan over a little bit. We're gonna transfer him over. Yeah, could you imagine flipping him? Yeah, I couldn't imagine that. Let me just move this out of the way, over here. Now, um, yeah, see how you're doing that? Yeah. You just, you just kinda tuck. It's like you it's do like a, a chicken. chicken. It's like a chicken. So see if you can do it facing the camera okay. so everyone can see. Here we go. You just take the wingy. Yeah. Come on, wingy. And you take the tip of the wing. And and this is not cooperative. There it goes. There it goes. goes. And you tuck him under. Tuck him under. Yeah. So he's nice and firm. Now I have the little plastic thing that came to hold the legs. But right. if you want to twine the legs, you can. Now yeah, they'll be good. A little olive oil. Yes. A little olive oil never hurt anything. So blue, blue, blue. And just rub him. Rub just fish saji. Just yeah. fish saji. The long and the short of it is, our turkey is ready. 325 degrees, 15 minutes a pound. For as long as it takes. For as long as it takes. My turkeys, now that they're brined, they cook a little faster mm -hmm. when they're brined. So be prepared to take it out a little early. But that is the turkey. That's and it. We're gonna put it in and I'll send a picture. I'll put a picture on when it's all done. But thank you. Hey, mommy. Yes, yes indeed. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.